You will often hear me say in these videos that this is my favorite object. I've said it before, and I will probably say it many more times, Keith. But today, seriously, this is one of my favorite objects at the Royal Society. It's a good one. It is a good one. It is in this box. We are going to follow the great YouTube tradition of doing an unboxing video. Would you like to do the honors? Indeed, let's yeah. do that. Let's, uh, let's unpack the goodies. This is a cool thing. I understand you've always wanted one of these, Brady. I have always had a bit of a fascination with objects like this. And therefore you can tell us what it is. This is, well, this is an orrery. It is, yes. But this is not, normally you think of an orrery as these kind of devices that show all the planets going around the solar system. We're, get, we're getting a bit more specialised here. This, was a, this is a special one. Well, conveniently, this was given to the Royal Society by the Earl of Orrery. And you can probably just uh, tease out who, who made it. Uh, his name's just here. Cole. Yep, so this is by Benjamin Cole, who's a, a London instrument maker. Uh, and this dates from the 1760s. Wow. Now, there's a very special event about to happen in the 1760s. It's the transit of Venus yes. and uh, very, very famous. Of course, the transits are paired events, but the first one is in 1769 and uh, famous for, for you Australian guys. We, uh, yes, it was, it was Captain Cook was out. Look, he went on a mission to have mm. a look at this transit and uh, got up to a few other adventures on the way. I'm guessing that this here is representing the Earth. Correct. And this golden orb here in the middle is the sun. Yes, it is, <laughs> yes. And here, it's interesting though, I mean, Venus is about the same size as the Earth, but we have here a tiny little dot, which will be the planet Venus. And presumably it's going to sweep across the face of the sun, as far as the people on Earth are concerned. So the people of Earth will see this tiny dot moving across the golden orb that is the sun. Is this more just sort of a, a demonstrator, a kind of That's right, outreach. yes, it is, yes. It's, it's, it's almost a toy, but it's to try to get across to people what was actually going on in, in a very easy visual way. So before we had YouTube videos or Brian Cox or any of that, we had these things. This is what you had, and um, prettier, I think. Than Brian Cox? Well, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Does it still work? Can we turn it? It does still work. We don't turn it these days, but um, we can maybe allow you just one turn of the handle break. Are you sure? I don't, yes, I don't do. want to, I don't want to, mainly I don't want to break it. <laughs> You're not going to break it. James, we're not going to do this many times. So this isn't one where you can say, can you do it 10 times for us? We're going to turn it once. So you get your camera angle all good and then we'll do a turn. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Oh, there we go. Look. So there's the earth turning as I turn the handle day to night. You see those cogs turning? As the Earth spins, Venus is very slowly sweeping around its orbit, getting closer and closer to that moment when it transits in front of our golden sun. Wow. Seriously, I love this thing. I think, I think if the Royal Society was on fire, which I hope never happens, this would be one of the things I would grab. This would be the thing you'd be taking home, is it? It, it, it would possibly. <laughs> if the president of the Royal Society came up to me and said, Brady, we think you're a nice guy, you can take anything home to display on your coffee table, I think it would be this one. It's not a bad choice. It's a, it's a seriously interesting piece. It has a great history and association with a particular transit event. And um, it's just a very beautiful object. Thank you for showing it to us. Well, this is my favourite, and this is, is really the thing that I wanted to show you, because it is such a rarity. Look at this. What he's trying to capture here is Halley's diving bell. 